What's up, ladies and gentlemen? It's yours truly, Fit City. How you doing? Hope you're having a good day today. We're gonna talk about hatching 12 kilometer eggs, and more specifically, the egg shakeup that we've had recently. Uh, after we get done talking about this, you will see my thoughts and opinions on hatching 12 kilometer eggs, if they're even any good. But let's go ahead and go over some of the eggs uh, that you can hatch now. Two kilometer eggs, what's worth hatching? Why would you hatch two kilometer eggs? Well, one for a shiny Zubat, kind of a given. Uh, shiny Poliwag, maybe if you don't have one, or a good IV one, I'm still hunting 100%. I would love 100%. Uh, Magikarp, I mean, if you still need it. Cubone's kind of, eh. I don't know why Wooper's in there. Mareep is finally thrown in two kilometer eggs. That makes sense. Whalmer, not a bad shiny to go after. Gen 5 starters are in here, not bad. Weasel, gross. Buneri, gross. Machino, gross. Your respective Volbite Luma is gross. So, two kilometer eggs, as normal, aren't that great, uh, with the exception of Zubat and Poliwag, in my opinion. Now, if we go to five kilometer eggs, let's just go ahead and go with the look at the list here. Uh, Machop is okay. I mean, I still don't have 100%. Um, I know some people might. Farfetched, of course, some of these are regionals. Voltorb, to get that elusive shiny, it's a very popular one and a very hard one to get. Pineco, eh, Eevee, Gross, Tauros, okay, Routes, eh, Routes is an okay 5km egg hatch, Aeron's always been in there, Phoebus has finally been thrown into 5km eggs, good choice, Niant. Lampril, that's actually not a bad hatch, um, Hippopotas, not a bad hatch, really hard shiny to get on both male and female, um, Blissel, not a bad hatch, Ragnarola, really good hatch. Ragnarola, excuse me. Really good hatch, not only for a good Pokemon, but the chance for that coveted shiny. Gothida, not a bad hatch. These don't spawn in the wild very much. Solosis eh, is okay. We had a huge event on that, and of course, Buffalant for York. So, five kilometer eggs look okay. There's a couple okay hatches. Now, let's look at the seven kilometer eggs. This is. This is where things get interesting. I don't have a good Galarian Darumaka. Um, I don't have 100% Galarian Zigzagoon. And I don't have a good Galarian Meowth. There's a lot of things in here that I don't want. I don't want a Galarian Farfetch. We just had an event recently on that. Don't need a Galarian Stone Fist. I hatch 100%. Um, don't need a Lolan Diglett or Shiny Form. Don't need a Lolan Sandshrew with Shiny Form, I think. I could be wrong on that. Uh, actually, I do need a Shiny Form. I don't need a Lolan Volpix or Shiny Form. Don't need a Lolan Grimer in a shiny form. I do need a shiny Lolan Geodude, but those spawn near me like wildfire. So, really, you're shiny hunting or IV hunting for a handful of these things, and for 7 kilometers, I just don't think it's that worth it. Um, I do believe strongly that we'll get a Galarian Darumaka spawning event sometime. Now, 10 kilometer egg. Shinx, still in there, still locked in eggs and rage, which kind of stinks. Gibble, makes sense. Riolu, Riolu should be in 7 kilometer eggs too, I don't understand that. Uh, it being in 10 does make sense. Aldino, okay, Timber, locked in there. Regular Darmaka, take it out. Take it out, put it in 7 kilometer eggs or even 5 kilometer eggs. Take out regular Darmaka. Amolga, take it out. It should be in 2 kilometer or 5 kilometer eggs. It's not a great Pokemon. Pharaoh Seed, makes sense. It's going to have a chance to be shiny after these events coming up. Link, it's always been in there. Elgem, take it out. Needs to be in 5 kilometer eggs. Litwick, makes sense. Axu, makes sense. Golit, makes sense. Rufflet, great addition. Fantastic addition. Makes sense. And finally, bread and butter of this video, and you'll see me hatch 9 of these. Larvitar, does not need to be in there. Absol, eh. Sandile, of course, Scraggy. Trubbish, terrible. Ponyard, Volby, Dina. So, Scraggy's good hatch, actually. Um, even for those at PvP, it's just, it's a good hatch. I will never complain about a Scraggy. Never complain about Sandile, that's for sure. Ponyard, Dino, Volibi. I still need a Shiny Absol, but Absol still is a bad hatch nonetheless, because it's 12 kilometers. It is 12 kilometers, and 8 kilometers with a Super Incubator. Making hatching these pretty ridiculous. 8 kilometers. Now you get a pretty decent boost of uh, Stardust, you get about 2,000 extra Stardust per hatch, but 8 kilometers? Mm. You have to be really patient, not only to gather these eggs to have 9 of them, but also to hatch them as well. Uh, 
I don't know what they could put in here. Maybe they need to swap some Pokemon. Swap Lavatar, Absol, and Trubbish in 10, 12 Clowndra eggs. And put in Darumaka, uh, Riolu, and Rufflet. Maybe do that. Uh, I wouldn't put Trubbish in 10 Clowndra eggs either, but maybe do that. Because we were used to Larvitar being 10 Clown Drakes. But there you guys have it. Let's go ahead and get into those 9 12 Clown Egg Hatches. Now, Alright, here we go after like forever to hatch these eggs because I got them all after the event. Put them in incubators. So here we go. Number 1. We've got 9 is... Santa! Pew, pew, pew. Wow, actually... Uh, how can I see anything bad from this point on? That's absolutely insane. Is it any good? <laughs> no, but like literally, how many people can say they have a sand dial? Uh, probably none. And you know what stinks though, guys? We can already tell that we're not getting another one because our candy's 32. And that's what just what we got was 32 candies. But nonetheless, uh, not bad. I also forgot to put on a star piece. Um, let's go ahead and do that. Oh, I don't have one. Well, okay. I guess it doesn't really matter. We can still pay attention to the Stardust, though. Per hatch, and then we can do the math later. Next one is Absol. I do not have a Shiny, so that actually would be okay. But this one's trash. It's 1411. So, so far, Sandile, Absol, not bad. We do want a Ponyard. That's actually what we're looking for. Sandile is obviously the rarest, but looking for a Ponyard. Another Absol. Okay. That one's really bad. I believe like 1440, something really close to that. It's 100%. Number four, so one sand dial, two absoles. Not, it's still looking kind of good. Okay, Scraggy's actually a really good hatch. I'm um, pretty sure that's pretty bad. I'll hang on to it. It's good to trade. So we got two absol, Scraggy, and a sand dial. Decent, I would say, right now. Decent. Another Scraggy. Okay, we're getting a little... I don't know what's better than Decent, but... 771. 91%. Eh. Again, trade bait. Not too bad. So, let's see. We got... I think this is six? Two Scraggies, two Absol, and a Sand Isle. Yeah, so this is number six. Larvitar. Gross. Pretty sure it's bad, too. Yep. We won a Ponyard. Number seven. We got three more eggs, including this one. Number seven. Trubbish. Oh boy. <laughs> I, I don't think I have a 97. <sighs> Number eight. We won a Ponyard. Come on. People are hatching Ponyards out of their nine. So I'd be really upset if I don't get one. Oh my gosh. Scraggy. It's bad. We're going to transfer this one. This is the last egg, ladies and gentlemen. I need a Ponyard. I do not have one. Or a Volibee, even, would be okay. Ugh. Terrible. Terrible. So, we hatched the rarest Pokemon out of these eggs, but at the same time, they were still trash. And this IV was trash, which, guess what? That means we have to do one of two things. We either have to hatch more... 12 kilometer eggs, 8 kilometers with super incubators, or we have to lucky trade these to try to get an IV reroll. But like I just mentioned, these are impossible to hatch. So finding someone that has a sand dial is pretty much impossible in my local area. So are these worth hatching? Honestly, probably not. But if you don't like hatching eggs to begin with, I would say slowly accumulate these and just hatch them over time and just don't one have high expectations two don't rush it and three just just be patient overall and have low expectations in terms of your egg hatches um this is probably the best way to hatch eggs anyway because there's nothing good in eggs as is uh whether it be two kilometer five kilometer ten kilometer and even in these eggs as well but there you guys have it smash that like button Put a comment in the comment section down below. Have you hatched a sand dial? How many Ponyards have you gotten? Let me know in the comment section down below. And subscribe if you haven't done so already. Be a part of the Fit City fam. That's it, the boy Fit City. I'm signing off. See you guys in the next Pokemon Go video.